What is going on YouTube? It is Captain Nether back again and today we're bringing you guys my Super Kizuna Boss teams. Starting off with Dex, we're going to be getting Strength and Dex Charge Specials for cooldown. Same with the uh, Super Swap and the Versus Effect Battle 2. We're going to be dealing with 5 turns of damage reduction and 5 turns of defense up 10% of damage to our health our slots are going to be changed to dex and unfavorable slots are going to be the type slots for one turn after one turn our beneficial effects are going to be removed wano attack multiplier is going to be reduced to 1.5 for five turns um, the ship is going to get bind for five turns and the enemy is going to retreat so what we're going to be doing is we have this team here queen is going to be dealing with the damage reduction and defense up we are also going to be using the friend Captain Kaido to provide us Wano Orbs just for our top row. I think that's all we're going to need. Um, Queen also gives us a little bit of a base attack boost. Should be able to get through the second boss phase. Once we get to the actual final boss, he is going to be having immunity except for Ignite. It's going to change into a super type obviously. 10% of damage is going to be taken away from us. Attack down chain multiplier 2.75 or below. A intimidation on the attack boost multiplier of 1.0 a barrier of one good tap interrupt our specials for increased damage taken force increased damage taken and type effect boost um, remove beneficial effects accumulated values and stun our middle and bottom row so Actually, just now reading that, I gotta do put a change on here real fast. Just put you so our striker units get color affinity and it doesn't trigger the interrupt. But, anyways, so once we get to the final stage, obviously, we're gonna be popping all of our specials. We have the X Drake here to give us a chain boundary, Jack ears give us a chain boost. Kaido is here obviously to inflict increased damage taken um, if we wanted to. We can't really do that. Uh, the, uh, the friend Captain Kaido is going to be doing the Ignite. Also increased damage taken to the enemy if you use a Wano Orb on the character himself. Um, and then our Kaido, his, his ability, his final tap. Uh, Tandem, I forgot which one it is now, oh my god, I am so sorry. The Tandem is completely maxed out, so we are going to be further increasing that increased damage taken by 0.25. This team should be doing a lot of damage, a little bit over a billion, um, actually multiple billions. But that's what I plan on using against the Dex fight. Okay, so the second fight against Int, we are going to be getting cooldowns for our Free Spirit and Powerhouse characters. Battle 2, we're going to be dealing with Hunger for 2 turns, um, a Barrier for 4 good taps, and after a turn, our Beneficial Effects are going to be removed, 5 turns of Paralysis, 3 turns of Special Reverse, and the boss is going to retreat. For Hunger, we actually have Yam the Treasure Map Yamato here. She's going to be reducing that. The friend captain for this team is going to be a normal gear 5 Luffy. We are going to pop his super type to allow us to just bypass through the barrier and just completely get rid of the boss while also using the Yamato special to allow us to reduce the enemy's Psy, um, cap or psy defenses. I don't know why I did that, um, but also because for her special, if we land on three strikes, we're going to apply increased damage taken to the enemy, which is very, very good. So once we get to the boss stage, he is going to have immunity except increased damage taken, super type, unfavorable slots, intimidation on attack boost, slot effect boost, type effect boost. Damage boosts against certain status effects by 0.6 reduction, 2 turns of attack down, 9 turns of bind for our middle row, and interrupt specials on damage, percent damage, and fixed damage. It's going to be doing 150,000 damage. So, 
For this, we have the Sanji here. We're going to use his special, get a, a boost. And because of that, this Brook support is going to be reducing two turns of attack down. So we don't have to worry about that. Having the normal Gear 5 Luffy as well is going to allow us to completely ignore the bind. Um, also using his special to get a orb boost and a color affinity. But first, the first thing you want to do is use Odin's special because he's also going to be giving a 0.25 increase to our color affinity, our orb boost as well. Um, Sanji obviously is going to give us a chain boundary as well. Law and Kid, you see he has Sai right here, but that's because once we get to the final stage, we're going to swap him into, uh, or he's in right now, we're going to swap into Sai, get the super uh, swap as well as get the EX um, super special and his normal special to make the enemy have decreased or uh, just get rid of their defense um, so that we can use the Robin special here because we have a friend Captain Luffy she at max limit break she's going to allow us to do a 1.75 conditional attack boost for decreased defense on the enemies this team should be doing a boatload of damage and that's the team i plan on using against int okay so now we have the final fight against strength and quick all of our units are going to get a charge reduction as well as the switch effect and versus effect so quick couple notes here before i really get into the actual battle the friend captain is going to be a normal gear 5 luffy this Frankie support on Zoro is going gonna, is gonna to be Frenosuke, the raid of Frenosuke, I believe. Um, so once we get to the final stage, we're going to get inflicted with attack down. Once we just get there, um, support's going to activate to get rid of the attack down. But bat jumping to battle two, we're going to get nine turns of despair. Special bind for our cerebral characters for a 99 turns. After one turn, remove beneficial effects, accumulated values, six turns of attack down. 20,000 damage as pain and the enemy is going to retreat so obviously they're trying to prevent you from using the Robin which sucks but you know it is what it is um, obviously the 6 plus gear 5 Luffy is going to allow us to completely ignore despair so we can just kill right away probably pop the super type of the other Luffy just so we can do increased damage. Um, once we get to the final boss, um, also as a side note, and I'm noticing this, the Carrot and Nami, I'm only having them like this because I do plan on swapping them to get to the Int variation so we can get full rainbow team, allowing our Luffy to be a rainbow captain. Anyways, back to the boss conditions. 50% um, chance it's going to be a strength, or 50% chance it's going to be a quick. Immunity except increased damage taken. Super block slots. Two turns of attack down. Six turns of increased defense. The interrupt specials is going to be increased damage taken. Force increased damage taken. Remove beneficial effects. Um, interrupt base attack boosts as well as accumulated values is going to re remove that blow away our middle row and bottom row so with the gear 5 normal gear 5 luffy being in his gear 5 state we don't have to worry about the defense up we're just going to be bypassing through that with all of our free spirit characters and all these units are free spirit the super block we need to pop the super type of our gear 5 6 plus luffy because he's going to change all those orbs into matching as well as um, inflicting increased damage taken on the enemy, bypassing through the interrupt, which is good. We're also going to be using the Zoro special to allow us to get a conditional attack boost. Um, we're also going to be getting an attack boost, or boost, and color finning from both Luffy's. So the um, KDAD unit here is actually, we're not using their special at all. They're only here to really do the final tap damage. Um, we also have the versus Yamato here to give us a little bit of an additional attack boost. Um, and then the Nami here, it, she's just the end unit really to allow us to get the rainbow damage. And that's the team I plan on using for the final, uh, 15 star Kizuna. That's the teams I plan on using guys. I hope they help you guys at least get some ideas on what you can do. Um, 
you know, I know there's gonna be other people making videos and hopefully, you know, those help you as well. It's gonna be all from me guys. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you all within the next video.